Hey cutie pies, I'm Lenikia. This is Thursday, April the 7th, 2022, and you're watching the latest edition of What Happened on the Soaps General Hospital. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, I have work from home jobs on the channel that you can um, tune into. They drop every Tuesday and Friday at 7 p.m. Central. All right, so let's get into General Hospital today. Um, let's start with Aunt Stella. So as you know, yesterday Aunt Stella passed out. Portia and TJ check her, and they and when they take when the um. EMT arrives, they take her to the hospital, and Portia and um, TJ say that they believe she's had a panic attack. So they go in, um, and they examine Aunt Stella and everything, and she allows Portia to stay in the room while she's examined, and they do find out it is a panic attack. And she just thanks um, Portia for being in, you know, in the room and helping her. And so TJ comes in, and TJ asks her, Aunt Stella, what is it? Like, what's going on? Because he said, you became very upset while talking to uh, Marshall outside. So what is it? I like, I need to know more information. And she just says, it's nothing. Um, but at this point, TJ is, excuse me, Curtis is just like, I can't just let this go. So Aunt Stella gives Marshall um, a call. And when she does give Marshall a call, um, she lets him know that, hey, all this wanting to come clean and everything, no. She said, what our parts in Curtis and his family's lives depend on you sticking to um, your story pretty much. Um, you can't, you don't go and tell the truth. So I don't know what the truth is, but there's a lot on Stella is covering up. And I'm starting to think she's not a little sweet on, sweet on Stella that we all like, okay, it's on Stella and everybody loves and everything. Because on Stella be on that trickery. <laughs> she behind some stuff. But um, so Marshall talks to um, Trina and he just lets Trina know that, her, you know, because she tells him about Spencer and why can't she let go of Spencer? Like he's no good for her. And her mom says he's not a good friend. And so she went to name and telling um, Marshall everything Spencer had done and wanted her to do and stuff. And he was like, I understand why your mama said you're not a good friend, girl. Stop it. But he tells her, you know, you know, you just have to go off people like what they show you. And he says, your dad and I have a lot in common where they try to protect. We try to protect people by getting out of their lives. Um, but in the end, we only end up inflicting pain. Um, so then we go to Curtis and Curtis is determined. He was like, I know there's more to this than Aunt Stella is letting on. So he's determined to find out what that is. So he calls someone up. Y'all know it's Miss Wu. So he calls Miss Wu up. Um, they don't show it, but he says, I'm ready to speak to you about your proposition. The only person that has propositioned him um, is Miss Wu. So I'm like, okay, he's going to try. He's going to get those unsealed records. And he's going to get more information about his um, his dad. He, he's going to get more information about his dad through Miss um, Wu. And in return, she's going to use his club. That's what's going to end up happening. We already knew it was going to eventually happen because they kept bringing it up. Um, so who else will we talk about today? So then we go to, okay, I'm going to get Laura and Victor. Pretty much all they're talking about is... Um, Pretty much all they're talking about is uh, him, him being a trying to be a changed person and she's not buying it. She says, you might want to be with your family now and you might be changed and everything. But at the end of the day, you're always up to something. You're scheming, you're planning something and I'm not buying this. You're like You want to be with your family. But he tries to tell her that having to go away and Nicholas being the only person that knows he was alive, it made him think about Valentine and it made him think about being um, a grandfather to Charlotte. So he, he wants family, but there are a lot of power players coming along and he's like, we need to protect. Like if you knew what was coming, when I was coming. And she was like, what do you mean by that? But he doesn't go into detail with her. Of course he's not. He just tells her it's, it's about protecting the family. And she's just like, all right. Cool. Well, I like Laura not buying anything that Victor is selling. So moving right along, we um also on the episode today we see Alexis and um Schmoltz talks talk speak, and he just tells her that 
you stole my story from under me. But he tells her, you were wrong for that. And he was like, I, I, people might not like me, but I'm a well respect. Like, I'm, I'm very well known. And once I start telling people that you steal stories and give to your writers and if other people, they won't want to come to you with their stories or whatever. So he tells her, so what, what you going to do to make this up for me? And so I won't sue you is that the next story I have, um, I want like a five page spread, something like this. Something he, but anyway, he wants to be the main feature attraction in the next story in um, Invader whenever he has a big story. And she like, just hit my line or whatever and he was like oh don't be running around me but she gonna do it <laughs> um so then we see that um alexis goes and she speaks to carly now before alexis get there gets there harmony has come to carly because carmen is like i need another job because i'm living with alexis but i need my own place so yes i'm gonna still work at um the prison but i also want to be able to work here um uh, at the metro court you know whatever you need me to do i'm i've done it all i'm sh no shame i'll do it and carly was like okay but then she tells Carly, she's open and honest. She tells her, I went to bat um, for Nina with Michael and Willow. And she said, because I owe Nina. And Carly said, why do you feel like you owe Nina? She said, well, I, you know, I know what it's like. We both want to be in uh, Wiley's life and everything. So I feel like because of that, you know, go to bat for him. And um, she says, oh, well, I hope you know that was the wrong decision to make. And Harmony is just like, yeah, yeah, I realize that Nina's just, a, um, Ni you know, that was the wrong decision. I just say, stay away from Nina. Carly was like, yeah, because she's a liar. She said, okay, okay, Carly, you don't like her. Okay. So then um, Carly tells her, I'll put your, sit put your application through the system. Now, at first she told her I was going to talk to Olivia. Now she like, put just put your application, you know, you could fill it out online and all that. Now she's not thinking about hiring her. But it is what it is. So Harmony leaves and Harmony keeps getting a phone call. And we're like, who is this calling Harmony? And why won't she pick up? So then Alexis comes to Carly's office and she talks to Carly about Harmony, about um, she's been presented with a position to be able to speak on her piece that um, was written in the Invader about Josh and Cam. And Carly says, well, you know, she was just coming to Carly saying, how do you feel about that? And she says, well, you have to talk to Josh. And Carly, and um, Alexis says, I understand. I just wanted to worry about you first, but, you know, because that's her parent. And she said, well, thank you for that. Um, you just have to talk to Jocelyn. And then Alexis stays because Carly had mentioned about Harmony wanting another job. And so they started talking about Harmony. And Alexis goes to bat for Harmony. She says she's um, she's a hard worker. She'll, she's dependable and all that. And But they, they're, they're wondering about her her going to bat for Nina and Carly said she said something that was odd to me like that she owed Nina yeah we know you owe Nina but she said she owed Nina and Carly found that to be odd and Alexis was, was like I I don't know but anyway she just goes ahead and tells Carly go ahead and and yeah you you if you want her to work for you she's she's dependable she'll work hard for you and so there's that. Oh, and uh, Smoltz ends up calling Alexis. And the reason he's d calling her is because remember she told him, mm, okay, maybe. She didn't. She left it up in the air, but she's going to do it because she don't want to be sued. Um, and she doesn't want a bad rep for Invader. And so he's calling her because he goes to speak to Michael. Now, before he gets there to speak to Michael, Michael and Willow have been served by Nina's lawyer, Scott. Because they are wanting to visitation rights, grandmother's visitation rights. So, Michael and Willow, I'm sorry. I know y'all like Michael and Willow, but I cannot stand these two. I, I like, oh my gosh, they're just, like, y'all should be grateful for Nina because she's giving y'all uh, some kind of storyline. Otherwise, I like, this is boring to me. But anyways, Michael and Willow are... um are has have been served by nina and they're very upset about it and everything and, and they're like oh my gosh i can't believe she's doing that she's such a user and she's so selfish and conniving and yada 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 and um so then they they're they're talking and everything and they say okay we got to get this this is even more reason why we got to get this assault charge dropped so we're gonna have to work with that slimy schmaltz and so at that time he was schmaltz, schmaltz comes up 
And so he and Michael started talking or whatever. And, you know, and Michael was laying out about, you know, why a good reason why he shouldn't, he should drop the charges. And then Harmony comes in and she, Willow says, well, I'll let them two talk and I'll come talk to you, Harmony, mom. And so she leaves with Willow leaves with Harmony and Michael and Schmutz talk. And he just tells him, your case is going to be real, um, then you're, they're going to see that you um, antagonized me and uh, for this alleged assault or probably he was like, you hit me or whatever. And then he says, well, I'll sue you like civil. And Michael, Michael was like, my lawyers will have you tied up. You will never see a dime of my money. You'll go bankrupt with me. And I was like, uh, yeah, I, OK, I understand why Michael hit smokes and everything. But OK, so Michael says we're going to. Um, what I can give you is a story. And he was like, what kind of story? He says, um, Nina is suing for grandparents' rights. And he was like, that ain't, <laughs> that's not a story. And then he starts talking about more about how Nina sued for grandparents' rights. And he'll give him everything. All of Nina's past dirt. He'll give him an insight on when Avery was kidnapped. He'll give him an insight on Nina and Sonny's relationship. He'll give him all the dirt. I don't like this. I don't like this at all because I understand like if you don't like Nina because of what she's done. Um, but to, I, I don't know, I guess because I'm not a fan of Michael and Willow, this storyline to me is nasty, but it is what it is. Y'all like it and y'all love it because y'all hate Nina. <laughs> y'all hate Nina. So y'all love this. Um, so anyways, um, so my, uh, Schmutz, of course he falls for it because he's like, yeah, so that's why he's calling Alexis to let her know, okay, I want my, you know what you, was, we're supposed to do with each other? Yeah, I'm, I need that because I'm going to print this story in the invader. So then we see Harmony and Willow talk and, um, and she tells Willow, Harmony tells, uh, Willow tells Harmony that Nina has sued for grandparents' rights and everything. And she was like, this is even more determination why she's not going to get it. I don't know what it is about Willow. I cannot stand this. <laughs> I cannot stand Willow. <laughs> There's something about her. Like she wants to be like this fragile Willow, but she's not. I don't, I don't know. It's something like, I, I think that's why I'm, anyways. So Willow is saying all this and, 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 and Harmony is listening and she was like, you know, we can't let her get um, to Wiley and everything. Now, Harmony keeps getting buzzed and Willow was like, you're not going to answer your phone? Like, what if that's important? Who is this calling you? But um, so Willow, Harmony says, no, it's not important. But she about to answer this phone because she looked at one of her text messages and it says, it's Brandon. If you don't pick up, then um, I'm going to call your daughter next. And, you know, Brandon is Neil's brother. So I don't know what Harmony got going on with this. But that's the end of Michael, Willow and all them. And Schmoltz and all them. So then we move on to who have we not talked about on this episode? I think we've covered them all except. Okay, so then Jennifer and um Valentine. So she brings him back to her room or whatever, because he said, I'm only in town for one night only. One night only. So she brings him back to her room or whatever. I said, I thought you were married. <laughs> Maybe that the person on her phone was not her husband, maybe that was just her partner. But anyway, so she go opens up the safe and 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 he looks at her while she's doing it. And I'm like, girl, you don't know this man. Why would you do that? But anyway, she goes and gets into the shower and he tells her, describe everything you're doing to me. So she's like, I'm washing my chest and all that kind of stuff. And so he's trying to uh, remember the code that she used again. So he humming it, trying to figure out, okay, the hum, this is beep, beep, beep. And he finally gets in, but she's out of the shower now. And she's like, what are you doing? I don't think she's seen him do anything. Like if anything, he's he gonna have be doing something weird. But um, she asked him about his relationship, and he said he's with some. He kind of with somebody, but not really because she can't decide what she wants. So Anna, you need to decide what you want to do. <laughs> but um, so that was Valentine and and Jennifer. And then finally, we get to um, Sunny and. Sonny and Nina. So Nina goes to Sonny's office because she wants to give him the heads up that I have filed um, for petition to see my grandson. She wants to give him the heads up on that because, you know, she likes Sonny and everything. And he says, you know, I was hoping it wouldn't come to that. And she said, I really tried to, you know, for it not to come to that. 
and I didn't want you to get involved. And he says, right now, you know, Michael, he not trying to, he not messing with me. <laughs> he said, he ain't really messing with me right now. It is what it is. Um, you know, Sonny likes Nina. He likes her. And I know a lot of y'all don't like Nina and you want Carly and Sonny back together. I do not. I don't want Carly and Sonny back together because that relationship is toxic. Um, I like Nina, so I don't mind that she's with Sonny. But even if he's not with Nina, don't put him back with Carly. That Like, that's toxic. Put Carly with Drew or one, somebody else, but not Nina. I mean, but not um Sonny. But anyway, so Sonny and Nina are talking and... and, and um. She starts fretting over him, like, because he has this little cut on his eye and everything. So she starts fretting over him uh, and, and taking care of him and everything. And they're just talking about, you know, going to court. And now she wanted, really wanted to avoid going to court, but she has to do what she has to do. And Sonny says, everyone needs love, you know, and, and everyone needs people or whatever. So they kiss and do all that. But at the end of the day, um, one, I think Sonny had a business associate call or whatever. And Nina was like, go ahead and take care of that. And um, she leaves and they leave it at that. They're going to separate what's going on with Michael and all them with Wiley and them. From what's going on with between the two of them, and that's that's just how it is. So that was General Hospital for today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe uh, to the channel. Don't forget I have work from home videos on. So if you're looking for, to work from home, um, pay attention to those videos. They usually drop on Tuesdays and Fridays, and you can go through the channel and look for them. Tuesdays and Fridays um, at 7 p.m. Central Time. I will see you tomorrow for Friday's edition of Watch What Happened on the Soaps. Bye.